Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Max AC channel. For this month's theme, we will be celebrating Adventurous April, where we will be making five dishes from around the world, specifically ones that I've never had before. So for this week's episode, we will be traveling to Poland by making some Easter soup, or white borscht soup. For this recipe, you will need 6 hard-boiled eggs, 1 pound or so of Polish kielbasa, 6 cups or so of water, 1 teaspoon or so of butter to saute with, some garlic cloves, some onion, 2 pounds of Yukon gold potatoes. This isn't a traditional ingredient, but some recipes I've found include it, and it adds some heartiness to the dish, so include it if you wish. You can also add some ham if you wish as well. You will also need 1-2 to two bay leaves, some salt, some pepper, and to substitute the fermented wheat flour starter, you will need a quarter cup of white vinegar, one cup of sour cream, and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And as an optional garnish, you can use some parsley. And traditionally, this is served with rye bread, so if you want, you will also need some of that as well. First, set two pots to boil on the stove, one for the eggs and one with the six cups of water for the soup. In the egg pot, place your eggs into the pot before boiling, and let them sit in there while the water is heating up. Similarly, place your kielbasa into the soup pot and let that boil as well, adding enough water to fully cover the sausages. While we wait for the water to boil, we'll prep the ingredients. Dice up your onion and garlic and set those aside together. Next, for the potatoes, we'll want to make them into bite-sized pieces, so cut them in half, and then cut these halves in half again, and then cut these into quarters or so, so that they are bite-sized. Similarly, Dice up your ham into bite-sized pieces as well. And then for your parsley, roll the leaves up into a bunch and then chop this up. Your water should be boiling by now, so turn off the heat for the egg pot and let the eggs cook for 10 to 12 minutes or so, and then place them directly into an ice bath afterwards. This will help them stop cooking quickly. Then for your soup pot, reduce the heat to low and let the sausage simmer in the water for 25 minutes or so. While we wait, we'll saute the garlic and the onion. So, in a saute pan, add your butter and then once that's melted, add in your garlic and onion and let that simmer for a couple of minutes or so, or until the onions soften and the garlic is fragrant. Once your soup pot is ready, remove the kielbasa and set it aside for later, but retain the broth in the pot. Then, to this broth, add in your onion mixture, diced potatoes, bay leaf, salt, and pepper, and cook until the potatoes are tender about 15 to 20 minutes or so. While we wait, we'll prepare the fermented flour substitute. In a small bowl, add in your flour, sour cream, and vinegar, and whisk that until it is smooth and thin. Then, we'll want to temper this mixture since it will otherwise curdle. So, to your sour cream mixture, add about a quarter cup of the soup at a time until the mixture reaches a similar temperature to the soup. Make sure to keep stirring while you do so. If you still have time, you can also cut up the kielbasa into half inch or so slices, and you can also deshell and cut your eggs in half. If you're having trouble with deshelling your eggs, I recommend cracking it on both the top and the bottom, and then peeling off that part, and then you should be able to peel the rest of the egg pretty easily. Once your potatoes are tender, slowly pour in your sour cream mixture, stirring constantly. Then let the soup simmer until it has thickened about 10 minutes or so. Remember to keep stirring it occasionally. During this time, you can optionally brown the ham and sausage a bit to add some more of a smoky flavor to the dish. This step isn't necessary, but I think it adds a lot to the flavor. Once your soup is ready, add in your ham and sausage to the pot and let the meat pieces warm up for a minute or two. You can also add the eggs at this time as well, but if you want the yolks to stay with the rest of the egg, I recommend waiting until just before serving the soup. While this is happening, since we have the time, you can optionally toast your rye bread as well. Then, once everything's ready, just serve your soup in a bowl with your bread, and your Easter soup is ready to eat.
I knew that I wanted to make a special recipe for this week, since this week is Holy Week, but I was trying to find a dish that was traditionally made for Easter, and to fit the theme for this month, I of course wanted to see if I could find one that I had never had before, and so, that's how I managed to find this dish. Apparently, the ingredients included in this dish are meant to represent a special significance. The hard-boiled eggs are signs of hope in new life, and the ham or other meats are meant to symbolize the abundance of the celebration of the resurrection. These ingredients in particular are chosen for this soup because they are typically included in the traditional Easter baskets, where each family would bring a basket, called shansonka, to church on Holy Saturday. This soup is commonly served on Easter, hence the name, but white borscht can be found often on Ukrainian and Polish restaurant menus year-round, so if you stumbled upon this video after Easter Sunday, you can still enjoy a hearty and delicious soup. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. In the comments below, let me know how it went if you decided to make it, and let me know if there's anything you want me to make next. Like the video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to this channel for more episodes of the Max AC channel. And remember, if you want to stay cool in the kitchen, turn your AC to the max and watch the Max AC channel. We'll want to temper this mixture since it will otherwise curdle 